Hello everyone, this is Pauk's Special Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. I would really appreciate your support. I would like to continue sharing my stylish tips with you. I'm talking to you about style from the tailor's point of view. Today I'd like to talk to you about garments with buttons. You should pay your attention to several important aspects when sewing such garments. First of all, a button stand should be straight. It's very important, because the button stand and the buttons are located on the front. It's the first thing that catches your eye when you look at a person. Be very accurate and attentive when making button stands. Do not forget to use a ruler when pressing it. This is a very useful technique. If you iron the button stand without a ruler, the fabric may stretch, and the edge of the button stand will be crooked. Garments with such untidy details don't look stylish. Be very careful and attentive. Always use a ruler for ironing when making perfect button stands. I want you to understand that a ruler is your best friend when sewing garments or button stands. Another important sign of a stylish clothing is a proper button placement. I mean the distance from the edge of the button stand to a button. There are special rules, saying how far from the edge the button should be placed. If a buttonhole is located too far from the edge, the button stand will be flapping. Such garments look untidy. Think about such things in advance. This is very important. When cutting a garment, you should take into consideration the size of the buttons and the extension for a button stand. If you work accurately, if you measure and calculate everything accurately, you will be sure that your garment will be neat and stylish. It won't look good if the extension is too big. It's also very important not to add less than needed and not to add more than needed. A garment wouldn't look stylish in both cases. People often ask questions about concealed button stands. You should make the final seam on the upper plaker, it's a must. Otherwise, it will be flapping as well and the buttons will be visible. The whole idea of a concealed button stand will be ruined. Do not experiment with the concealed button stands. Follow the rules. I've already shown you how to make concealed button stands. Watch the videos about it if you haven't done it yet. If you work accurately and use the technique for making the concealed button stands, which we showed you, you will be sure in the high quality of your work. It's not as hard as it seems. Another aspect is the space between buttons. There is an opinion that it's necessary to make a button on the bust line to prevent a garment from gaping at the bust. It's not actually true. If your garment is too tight at the bust and you try to fix it with a button, it would look anyway slovenly. You should make comfortable, well-fitted garment. Decide how many buttons you need to attach and place them evenly on the button stand. If you sew a coat or a cloak, don't place the buttons down to the knees. The last button should be placed below the stomach. If the coat opens at the bottom, it's okay. It's a sign of a bad taste if you make buttons down to the knees. Please be careful. As I've said, the last button should be placed below the stomach. If you don't like open flaps, make double breasted coats. The garments we sew should be stylish. 
This is very important. I want us to be different and beautiful every day. The last aspect for the day is the bottom of the button stand, especially in jackets and coats. Pay attention to the shape of the bottom. The overcut should be made of an angle of 90 degrees to the center front. The angle should be right. It should be edged neatly. The lining should not pull the outer fabric. The edge should be even. Button stands should be perfectly edged. Otherwise, a garment wouldn't look good. I want us to sew and wear stylish, beautiful and modern clothes. This is what I'm here for. This is why I share these stylish tips with you. I'm talking to you from a tailor's point of view. So I'm sure that I can give you some information which you don't think about when sewing garments. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Irina Paukšta. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, buy my courses, press the like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.